What's going on, people? Keith Moore Jr. here, and today I want to briefly discuss my natural bodybuilding journey, uh, kind of show you all a 10-year difference between the picture on the left and the picture on the right that you're seeing on the screen, and just kind of go over what I learned throughout this journey, uh, some mistakes I made as well during this journey. And hopefully, uh, if you're watching this video, some mistakes that you can avoid and get to your end goal faster. So the picture on the left is from 2008. So that was my freshman year in college. Uh, it was the second semester of my freshman year in college. I attended Purdue University. And as you all can see, I didn't have any tattoos yet. So... <laughs> That picture is definitely old, but I was about 140 pounds in that picture. So I'll I'll let that, that sink in for a moment. So yeah, I was extremely light at the time. So back then, at that time, I thought that I was like, I thought I was swole. And it, it's funny to even say that out loud while I'm looking at the picture right now. But yeah, I thought I was swole. You know, I thought, you know, I'm, you know, I'm walking around campus like I'm hot stuff. And then I'm going to the gym and I'm seeing people in the gym that are older than me and, you know, are adults, like, you know, grad students, PhD students, stuff like that, who have more mature, uh, muscular development and I'm like whoa you know I have a lot to learn and I have a long way to go in this fitness game so fast forward to the picture on the right um that's me cutting down I was uh, 164 pounds in that picture on the right so <clears throat> although I cut down um essentially what was it for, for that picture, it was uh, I cut down 20 pounds for the picture on the right. But you can see, like, my muscles are way more developed nowadays. Although I, I cut down, you know, I still, granted, I'm still 24 pounds heavier on the right than I am on the picture on the left. But I look, I'm a lot leaner. It's not look, I'm leaner in the picture on the right more defined but i still have the muscular development so you can see my shoulders biceps chest i mean everything abs more tone so at that time i didn't know much about nutrition whether i should be bulking or cutting i was just eating whatever and working out and i w well <laughs> i was trying to bulk but I could never gain weight, but I wasn't, I didn't know anything about, you know, counting calories, macronutrients, being in a caloric surplus or anything. I just thought, you know, if I eat garbage, if I eat bad, then I'll gain weight. But I was only eating like twice a day and I would go like to the dining court, get food there. And, you know, like I said, I wasn't tracking anything. So, I mean, I had no way of even identifying how much I needed to eat in order to gain weight. So it's, it's safe to say that my weight just stayed the same, but I was, you know, fairly strong, or at least I'm trying to think what. Yeah, I was pretty strong at, at that time, especially for my body weight. Now, fast forward, some some of the things that I, that I know now that I didn't know back then, so I covered nutrition, as far as, you know, what my calories needed to be in order to be as in a surplus to gain weight. Also, uh, macronutrients. And also, when I was lifting, I would always just go in the gym and essentially try to max out a lot. So I wasn't focused on progressive overload. That's another mistake I made, you know, progressive overload, being able to progress over time whether it be the amount of weight the sets or the reps you know i wasn't progressing or 
I wasn't progressing how I should have because if you're constantly going in the gym trying to rep out all the time, you know, that's that's not good. You know, you're better off having a program, even if you create it for yourself, but something to where you're able to track the amount of weights you're lifting. And then, you know, I'm repping out all the time, but I wasn't even... I wasn't training for like a uh, a, a power lifting meet or anything. So, you know, I'm thinking if I just lift heavy, you know, one, two rep maxes, then that'll really improve my physique as well. And that was not the case for, you know, bodybuilding and men's physique, which I compete in. It's important to get that volume, the volume. So I was not getting volume either. So it was a lot of stuff that I did not know back in 2008, but I had to learn that over time by making the mistake myself. So I was reading, I would get my workouts at the time from um, the men's health and fitness magazine. I can't, was it? Oh, muscle and fitness. So I would get programs from there from like professional bodybuilders or whatever they had in the magazine. And I would, I would follow the programs to a T, but, you know, something that I didn't take into consideration is a lot of those programs were, one, they weren't for natural lifters. Two, they weren't, you know, they didn't go into details about how often you should be increasing the weight, the sets or reps or anything. That A lot of them didn't even have progressive overload in, in there. And then it would be like a four week workout program. So, it, you know, at the end of the four weeks, I'm like, OK, time to switch over to, to a new one. So I didn't have the, the long term focus in mind back then. So those were, you know, some of the things I wanted to point out uh, regarding, you know, when I was early on in my lifting career, because in 2008, I had already been lifting for i would say about five years at that time i'm well hold on because i was i'd already been lifting for uh six years at that time so i wasn't i was a newbie but i wasn't new in the gym but knowledge wise i was uh, i was a beginner for sure because i was just doing uh the bro split you know chest on Monday, legs on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, I would do back. No, on Wednesday, I would do, what was I doing? Wednesday, I would do buys and tries. Thursday, I would do back. And Friday, I would do shoulders. And then I I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the bro split, but you do need to be sure you're getting in the proper amount of volume if you're going to be doing a bro split. And I was not doing that. So, you know, I would probably for I would let me just uh, calculate how many sets I was doing for like my legs, a, a large muscle group. I would say on the during the week, I was probably doing let me see. I would say probably nine to 10 sets in a week on my legs. That's including everything, glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves, everything. That's pathetic. One, probably one of the reasons why my legs are underdeveloped now. Um, that's a topic for another video because we're going to definitely address that as I uh, go into this this next bulk of mine. But yeah, I just want, want you all to see that, you know, with natural bodybuilding, it does take time to make good gains. But if you're patient and consistent, that's, that's the main thing. I stay consistent since I first picked up a weight. So yeah, 10 years may seem like a long time, but when I look back, on that pitch from 2008 like those 10 years were spent learning and it was fun it was fun to learn and it's always great to look back to see like how much progress 
you've actually made, you know, in a certain amount of time. And, you know, be realistic with yourself when you're giving yourself these timelines on, you know, how can I realistically, you know, make good gains and make a great transformation. Again, this is 10 years apart. I'm 24 pounds heavier in the picture on the right. And that picture is, once again, of me when I'm cutting down. Now, when I'm doing my bulking period, I'm about 40 to 45 pounds heavier than that picture on the on the left here. But I I could argue that I my abs are just as lean when I'm when I'm bulking now. And that that's it's just crazy how much knowledge I lacked back then, but that's it. I just wanted to kind of cover, you know, my transformation over the past 10 years. I'll be doing more of these videos to show the difference between when I was bulking in college to when I bulk now and the same thing with cutting just to kind of start giving you all insight into my fitness journey and let you all know how long I've actually, you know, been at the fitness thing before, you know, I was even on YouTube. So Hoping this video helps someone. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.